Hey, Pokedad fan club, this is Pokedad, and this is another episode of Monday Deck Profile, where we'll be profiling another deck. Uh, I did one already today, but we're going to do another one because tomorrow on Tuesday Night Fights, uh, we're going to have these two decks face off against each other. Uh, the one we just I just did, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out right now. I'll have it in the uh, description below. That was Mega Sceptile EX. This one that we're going to do is Machamp EX. All right, now Machamp EX, I think this deck is going to see competitive play because it's just, it's really, really good, guys. All right, now Machamp EX is a fighting type Pokemon. He has 180 HP and he has two attacks. One thing that's special about fighting types, in Furious Fist, they give fighting types a lot of damage enhancers, like Strong Energy and Fighting Stadium. And we'll talk about those more, but those damage enhancers make Machamp EX hit in the range of knocking out um, Megas. So, we'll talk about that a little bit more on how to get those numbers to hit up and to knock out Megas. But until then, let's look at his first two attacks. His two attacks, I should say. The first one is called Steaming Mad, and it's kind of like Kyurem's Outrage, Kyurem, Reshiram, uh, Zekrom, all of those from uh, Black and White. He, his Steaming Mad hits for 20 times the number of damage counters that are on him. So if he gets hit for, say, 100, He'll have 10 damage counters on him. He can then turn around and hit for 200 back to the opponent. So this can be very good because uh, you can pretty much do double the damage back to your um, opponent. And the Outragers never really got that much. They only did 20 plus 10 damage for each damage counter on it. So 22 times the number of damage on him goes back to your opponent. That's just insane. Think about it. He has 180 HP. If they hit him for 150, he's going to attack back for 300 damage, knocking out any Mega or Primal. Uh, so that's pretty amazing. However, that's not even the, the attack that we're going to focus on mostly because there is a downside to that first attack and that is, if you use that first attack, he then becomes confused. And as you know, if he's confused, he can possibly do damage to himself. But there is actually a reason why they made him confused, and it goes along with the second attack. The second attack is called Crazy Hammer, and it does 80 damage for three. It's two fighting and a colorless. Uh, and if this Pokemon is affected by special conditions, this attack does 80 more damage, then remove the special condition. So you can see that if he uh, that if he's confused, he can use the second attack to gain 80 more damage if he could get the attack to go through and not hurt himself. So that means that he would do 160 damage for just three energies. And if you add damage modifiers like Muscle Band, Strong Energy, Fighting Stadium, you could potentially be doing, you know, 200, 220, even possibly 240 with this. This is the attack we mostly want to be using because it's you can basically get one of these Machamps knocked out. And before you're, I mean, not knocked out, but charged up, and you can then knock out your opponents back to back to back. And you can, if they're playing an EX deck, you can knock them out pretty quickly. So, um, Machamp, we want to get that second attack charged up and then use it to knock out opposing EXs uh, right away. All right, so let's talk about like his supporting cast, how we're going to get him charged up a little bit faster. So, it just makes sense to run Landorus. All right, we play four Landorus, and we actually. Either of these is good starter, but I prefer to have Landris starting because Landris has the attack Shout of Power 
for t for one fighting energy he does 20 damage but then you can get a basic energy card out of the discard pile and attach it to someone on your bench so we're going to be running battle compressors we can put the fighting energy in the discard pile and then we can have Machamp on the bench getting charged up with Landris's attack. And Landris also begins to soften up our opponents with his attack to make Machamp's, uh, especially against Megas, makes Machamp's attack get in that range a little bit easier. So Landris, we use him mostly for Shout of Power. I should mention though he does have one attack, one other attack called Sky Lariat for two uh, fighting and a colorless he can hit for 90 damage and even though it's probably not going to happen very often there might be times where you need it now the other main supporter that we really need in this deck is we need to play 2-2 two -two line of Spinarak and Ariados all right this is from Ancient Origins also by the way the Landorus is from Furious Fist the, the uh, Ariados is from Ancient Origins this is going to poison our opponent, but more importantly, it's going to poison our Machamp. And then we can use that second attack for 160 damage, and then he'll be free of the poison. So it doesn't ever actually hurt him because he's free of the poison, uh, because at the end of the attack, he, you remove the special condition. So you can get damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon with using the poison, but then you get the added bonus of using 100, getting 160 damage from a champ. And again, with those damage modifiers, uh, enhancers, he can easily hit up in the 200s, 220 range, uh, if you have everything. We also play two Halucha. And I just got to tell you, in my playtesting, I haven't really used Halucha, but I could see how it could be, uh, you know, it's a quick attacker one energy if we had a fighting stadium a strong uh energy and a muscle band we can hit for 60 80 120 something like that we could hit like 120 with halucha which is not too bad for just one energy and so you might be able to use halucha to kind of stall while uh while you're getting machamp charged up Halucha does have free retreat, so he doesn't hurt hurt us to be put in the deck. We do play one Shaman EX. Again, just in case we get stuck, we want to be able to draw. So we play the Shaman EX just in case. And then that completes all our line of Pokemon. One thing I have to say about this deck is you don't need to run a lot of Pokemon at all. And that allows you to ha use uh, more of your... Uh, deck space on uh, item cards and so as you can see we'll be running a lot of items because we're only playing there's 8, 10, 14, 15 we're only playing 15 Pokemon here uh, and that's really all you need matter of fact if you took the Haluchas out uh, you could just do uh, 13 so anyway so that's the Pokemon line let's get right into our um, item line okay we play a lot of items guys so I'll go through these relatively quickly because most of you know what they do already um, but I'll get right into it hold on one second guys I got a little issue Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry I had to pause the video for just a brief moment. I had an incident come up, but let's get right back into it. Now we're talking about item cards. All right, so we play two muscle bands. This is a damage enhancer. Uh, you can use this on Machamp, or you can use this on Landris or Halucha. We actually prefer to have another card on Machamp, but if you need to go for a knockout, and you need the extra 20, feel free to put it on Machamp. What we prefer to put on Machamp is Focus Sash. Okay? Focus Sash basically keeps Machamp from getting one hit KO'd. If they do enough damage, like if they're able to do 180 damage, 
You remove the focus sash and he still has 10 HP remaining. So that means he would have 170 or 17 damage counters on him. He could then return an attack for 340 damage at whoever. So this is what I'm saying is if if you, Machamp strikes first and you use the second attack for 160 plus whatever, so let's say some damage modifiers, and he's able to knock out an EX that's say 170. All right, and then they come back and let's say they're able to use something really big. Let's say they're able to use Mega Rayquaza uh, Colorless or even Dragon. It doesn't matter. All right, and then they one shot your Machamp but you have the focus sash on now he's got 10 HP he's gonna then return attack on that Rayquaza and he's gonna knock out that Mega with 340 damage which will knock them out so focus sash we want to try to focus sash our Machamps okay next thing is we play one professor's letter one thing I should mention is I'm going to be, I play Karina in this deck. I mean, obviously it's a fighting deck, so Karina just makes sense. And so a lot of these item cards, I just stick in here for flexibility's sake. If I don't have any energy in my hand, I can Karina, grab a fighting uh, Pokemon, and then grab Professor's Letter, and, and I'll have energy now. We also play Battle Compressor. Now, bat, we play two of those, Battle Compressor, Helps us to get the energy into the discard pile so that when Landorus attacks, we can begin to charge up Machamp. So we play uh, one Battle Compressor. We also play three Ultra Balls. Uh, Ultra Ball is just really good. It can get what get us whatever we need. If we need a Shaman to get more cards, we can get Shaman, get Machamp, get Landorus, whatever we need. Now we have so many repeats in this deck. We have four Landris, four Machamp, two Haluchas, and then two, two, two line of the Spinarak Ariados. It makes sense to play two repeat balls. So we play two of those. We also play one escape rope and one switch. Now Machamp has a lot of, uh, a high retreat cost. And if we ever, if we want to retreat him, if someone Lysanders him before he has enough energy to do any damage, then uh, we will have these. We can Karina for one of these and get him back safely onto the, the bench. We also play one Startling Megaphone to help disrupt. Uh, if we're playing against a Mega deck, to knock out the Spirit Links is very useful because we can get charged up faster and they may have to use a turn to Mega Evolve. Uh, or if we're playing someone who's got a lot of muscle bands, we can use that to uh, help us get their damage enhancers off. So we play a lot of items. The final item we play is two VS Seekers. Uh, I don't play more than that just because in this deck, it's not about, we, we don't have to get as much stuff. We can, we always have Karina and Karina can always grab a VS Seeker if we need it. Uh, so we're not actually having to like search through our deck trying to find one. Uh, Karina can just go grab one for us if we need it. So that's our item cards. Let's move right into our supporters. All right. So our supporter line. I've already talked about Karina. So let's just mention. Kar let's go put Karina down first. We play four Karinas. Uh, if you don't know, Karina allows you to search your deck for a fighting type Pokemon and one item card. So we can grab Machamp, we can grab um, Landorus, we can grab Halucha. We can't grab Eridos or Spinarak, so that's why we have the Ultra Balls. But we can grab a fighting and then go grab an Ultra Ball and get... Spinarak out if we need to, or area dose. All right, we play four Sycamores. That's just standard in most every deck. Uh, discard your hand and draw seven. Play two Birch. So this is uh, shuffle your hand into your deck. Flip a coin. If heads, you get seven cards. 
If tails, you get four cards. We play two Lysander. Uh, Lysander, again, as I mentioned in the last video, allows you to bring an, a bench Pokemon to the active so that if someone's retreated and you need to finish them off, or if you want to bring up uh, an EX to the active spot um, so that Machamp can finish them off, then Lysander will help us do that. We'll play one Hex Maniac. Uh, this would help us against Pyroar. Or, uh, let's see. Beautifly, we have some options. We at least have Landorus who could, you could charge up and attack. But it would help you get, but Hex Maniac could get through Beautifly. Aegislash is not a big problem because we can choose not to put strong energy on down. Uh, and then finally, uh, Giratina is not going to be an issue because we're not using any Megas. So, but Hex Maniac can just come in handy, uh, keeping people from Metal Linksing or Fairy Transferring for one turn might be enough to, to, uh, disrupt them, uh, at least for that one turn. We play the one Ace Trainer so that if we get behind in prizes, we can at least uh, reduce their hand size and increase ours. Probably won't need it much. The final supporter, I play only one of, but it is very clutch. Um, and that is, we play one Cassius. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, why not AZ? Uh, but Cassius, here's how I see it, okay? If Machamp is badly damaged, we can either choose to return attack with him, but then most likely he's going to go down the next turn. In my, in my view, I think it's better, especially if he's got a focus sash that has not been removed. It's better to just take all the energy and the focus sash and him, put him back into the deck. We have ways to get that stuff back out quickly through Karina. Uh, and then we can, if we have another Machamp ready to go, we can just bring that one up and we can use Crazy Hammer. Now I'll tell you, this Cassius has been clutch for me in playtesting uh, because there have been times where my Machamp was badly damaged and I was going to hit back, but then they would knock me out and that would have been game. Instead, I was able to Cassius the damaged one uh, bring up the other one, finish that attack off with that, uh, finish the first one off, then they attack and damage me again, then I'm able to knock the next one out, uh, and I'm able to like roll through their whole, their whole, uh, Pokemon that way. So Cassius is clutch, at least in the playtesting I've done. Alright. And that is our supporter line, guys. So, we don't have as many draw support, but you really don't need it with Karina. And we do play the one Shaman to help us with that. So that's our supporter line. As far as energies, I play six fighting energy and four strong energy. And uh, that's pretty much all you need. I don't, I don't need more than 10 here. So, and then strong energy, if you're not aware of that, it gives 20 extra attack. But it can only be um, 20 extra damage to an attack. So if I can hit for 160 and I have a strong energy now, it hits for 180. But it can only be attached to fighting type Pokemon. And then finally, guys, we have three fighting stadiums. Uh, if we're going against EXs, it does an additional 20 damage from your uh, fighting Pokemon. So Fighting Stadium can be really nice, even with Landorus. Uh, if you got Landorus with a Muscle Band and um, a Strong Energy and a Fighting Stadium, for one energy, he's hitting for 80. That will soften up uh, Megas for um, Machamp to come in later. Anyway, guys, so that's all I have for you. Uh, this is Pokedad. Hit like, subscribe. And put your comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as possible. 
And again, thanks for watching. This is Pokedad signing off. Later, guys.